Hi and welcome to the Store DJ review of the Stanton SCS 3D. Stanton have been creating a world for digital DJs for longer than any other. In the 90s they created Final Scratch and although it's been superseded several times since then, they always had the foresight to know that this is the direction that DJs would eventually head. Today we're looking at the SCS 3D, or the Scratch as it's also known. It's a controller, something that makes working with your DJ software so much easier because you can use it with this, or this, or even this. And the way you do that is by simply assigning all of your functions such as your volume, EQ, and turntable control to the various buttons, faders, and knobs on the SCS 3D. Sorry? You can't see any buttons, faders or knobs on the SCS 3D? Well, there's a good reason for that. They're not really there. You see, this unit is completely touch controllable and doesn't have any parts that can be broken in transit or busted being an overzealous DJ in behind the booth. So, if it doesn't have the buttons and faders and knobs, how does it all work? The control surface of the 3D is all touch sensitive and therefore you can interact with it to make it work in many, many different ways. Depending on the mode I select above, the touch surface will act either as a series of faders for your EQ trigger pads for looping or triggers an effects controller, or of course, a jog wheel to mix. So what sets a 3D apart from other control surfaces? Apart from the obvious look, design and feel, Stanton have implemented a software solution to work with their hardware in a unique and superior way. The software is called DeRouter, and basically you use DeRouter to pre-map the 3D to the MIDI compatible software you're using. So instead of your controller talking directly to your DJ software, it talks to DeRouter instead. Sort of like a middleman for your DJ software. And this gives you instant love and a great starting point for any mapping you want to do. So that's the basic functionality of the SCS 3D. Now let's set it up with some DJ software and see how it all works. Right, now it's time for the fun stuff. We've come across to the computer and plugged the 3D in via the USB cable. Now, if I come down here, I can open up the DeRouter software, which is the software that connects your 3D to any of the MIDI application software you're using. Okay, so the one is glowing here on the left, showing that we have one device plugged in. If we had a second device plugged in, that would show up here. We can choose a different preset through this menu or load if we choose to simply by going to browse. Now we're ready to open up our Tractor DJ software. When you open up Tractor for the first time, it's a good idea to come into the preferences and see how your MIDI is all set up. And if we come down to MIDI mapping, this will show us all of the different controls that we have assigned to the SCS 3D. Now, if we don't like where any of these are, we can easily select them, delete them, add new ones, duplicate. So it really does make it very, very simple to select a feature, quite literally click on the MIDI Learn button and then select the button that you would like to assign to that feature of the software. Loading, queuing and scratching tracks on the SCS 3D could not be easier. I've set up a couple of buttons here so I can scan down or up and easily load tracks simply by pressing one of the buttons up here or if I want it to go to deck B I can load it just as easily there. We're then ready to be able to have full control to scratch or play and cue and start our set. Another great use for the SCS 3D is obviously EQ. Now if you see here in the middle of the screen we have our high, mid and low EQs. Once I'm in the EQ mode 
I can quite literally come in here and have full control. Looping with a 3D really couldn't be easier thanks to some of the amazing controls that have been set up. If you select your loop mode, and obviously if we have a track playing, we can use this control surface in the middle to assign the length of our loop and of course to trigger our loops by pressing the centre. Thanks to the awesome syncing available in Tractor, you really can take advantage of those features with the SCS 3D. So if we have a track playing and we want to add some loops over this, not necessarily to mix, but maybe just to add something over the top, we can do it very, very simply. One, two, three. CS 3D design for? Well, I'm perfect for laptop DJs and really for anybody that needs a small device instead of a big, huge DJ console to carry around everywhere. I'm perfect for planes, trains, automobiles. Well, I'm actually perfect for just about everybody. Professional DJs and live artists will love my features. And of course, if you're a beginner, I'm a great way to get into the industry without spending thousands of dollars. For more information or to buy an SCS 3D, click the link below. Thanks for watching this Store DJ review of the Stanton SCS 3D. We'll see you back here soon.